Greetings and good tidings, fourth graders. Today, we are going to be discussing Virginia's water future. Now, there's a lot of water in Virginia. We might not see a lot of it in Fredericksburg, other than the one river that flows through, but there's lots and lots. Now, the first feature that we're going to talk about is the Atlantic Ocean. You all have been doing such a great job of labeling your Atlantic Ocean in your notebook. The Atlantic Ocean is this big body of water here that is all blue. It is to the east of the United States in North America, and it's also east of Virginia. Now, the Atlantic Ocean provided a transportation route between different places in Virginia and Europe, Africa, and the Caribbean. So people could start in England or anywhere else in Europe and they could travel along the Atlantic Ocean in order to get to Virginia. They could actually start here in Africa and they could travel the Atlantic Ocean to get to North America as well. Or they could go from North America to Africa or England as well. Now, people in England and Europe would also use the Atlantic Ocean so that they could get to Africa. So a lot of different places were using the Atlantic Ocean for transportation. And they would always go in really big ships because it's a big body of water. We also have the Chesapeake Bay. Do you remember where the Chesapeake Bay is? I know that you've been labeling this in your notes a lot recently also. The Chesapeake Bay is right here. It is in between mainland Virginia and the Eastern Shore, which is that peninsula of Virginia that is attached to Maryland. Now in colonial days, the Chesapeake Bay provided the um, explorers with a safe harbor because right here you can see it was protected by land on three sides. So this provided a safe place for the explorers to dock their ships. It also was a good for source, excuse me, of food such as crabs. There are lots and lots of crabs in the Chesapeake Bay, is what it's known for and also for other transportation. So the Chesapeake Bay was really important to the early settlers of North America and Virginia. We have four major rivers in Virginia. We're going to talk about the rivers and the important cities that are on those rivers, along with a cute little saying that can help you remember them. The first river that we're going to discuss is the Potomac River. The Potomac River is a natural border between Virginia and Maryland. And Alexandria is an important city that is located on the Potomac River. Now, I like to remember that Alexandria is on the Potomac by singing Alex the Potato. Alex, the first four letters of Alexandria, eat potatoes, the first three letters of Potomac, they match. And here on this map, the Potomac River is highlighted in purple, and you can see Alexandria right here. If we travel a little further south to this river right here, then we are going to be on the Rappahannock River. That might sound really familiar to you all, because the Rappahannock River is actually the river where our city of Fredericksburg is located. If you remember from the video that Ms. Ogre did last week, the Rappahannock, or the Fredericksburg, excuse me, is along the fall line on the Rappahannock River. I like to remember the Rappahannock River because Fred likes to rap. Fred, Fredericksburg, likes to rap. Rappahannock. Fredericksburg is high, or the Rappahannock River is highlighted in red on our map, and you can see Fredericksburg is right here. 
Our next river is not as long as the first two rivers we discussed were. And this river is the York River. The York River is highlighted in yellow on our map. And the city of York Town is located along the York River. York Town is on the York River. The last river that we're going to discuss today is the longest of the four rivers. It starts all the way here in western Virginia, and it comes out to the Chesapeake Bay. And this is the James River. Now, there are two really important cities that are located along the James River. Richmond, which is also on the fall line and is our state capital now, and Jamestown. Now, Jamestown and James River sound very similar, so that's easy for us to remember. But Richmond could be a little tricky. I like to think that James is a rich man, and that's how I remember that Richmond is on the James River. But the James River was also named after King James, who was very rich. King James was rich. So Richmond is on the James River. In order to remember the order from north to south of our four rivers, I like to say, please remember your jacket. And I'm not just saying that because it is cold in my classroom. I'm saying that because the Potomac, please, Potomac, both begin with P. Remember, and Rappahannock begin with R. Your and York, those actually kind of sound alike too, begin with Y. And Jacket and James begin with the letter J. Now, all four of Virginia's major rivers flow into the Chesapeake Bay. They start to the west, and then they flow here eastern into the Chesapeake Bay. And each of these rivers was a source of food, and it provided a pathway for exploration and settlement. So they, uh, settlers and other people were able to settle and live along the rivers because they could get food. Oh, Virginia has a swamp. Who else lives in a swamp? Shrek. Okay, so Virginia's swamp is called the Dismal Swamp. That does not sound like a very happy name. And it is located at the bottom of the coastal plain region. It is full of wildlife. That means there's lots of plants and animals that live there. And it was actually surveyed by the very first president of the United States, George Washington. He explored this and he surveyed the Dismal Swamp. Now, inside the Dismal Swamp is Lake Drummond. Lake Drummond is a natural lake in Virginia that's surrounded by the Dismal Swamp. So the Dismal Swamp is on the outside and Lake Drummond is on the inside. Is located inside the Dismal Swamp, and it is a shallow lake, which means it's not very deep. And it's actually only one of two natural lakes in the state of Virginia. All right, guys and gals, now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your OneNote notebook, and you are going to complete your last three pages of your Virginia Regents notes with Miss Ogre. Thank you so much for learning with me today.